Hello, uh, this is just a quick video just to show you a fake tungsten lined Krugerrand. Uh, we've heard the rumours for years that these things are coming out of China. This is the first time we've seen one. Uh, so we thought it was best to make a quick video just showing everybody uh, some of the points to look out for. Uh, showing how good they are to be fair and just to make people aware of what's available. Uh, the coin at the top is the actual fake at the moment, that with this one. Uh, if we put it line by line next to a genuine Krugerrand on the right hand side uh, you'll see, yes the finish of it does look slightly different and it's not quite as good as it should be uh, but this is only when you compare it to a real one uh, you wouldn't really notice if it's just stood alone uh, weight wise you'll find they are weighing correctly as they're using tungsten they can get the weight completely correct while still keeping the thickness of the coin accurate uh, it's coming in at 33.9 grams as we would expect uh, but also, if we check the weight of the, the uh, sorry, the thickness of the coin out, we'd expect a Krugerrand, full Krugerrand, to be 2.84 mil, and this is 2.84 mil. So, using tungsten, they've managed to get around the fact that usually the fake Krugerrands and fake coins are thicker than the originals. These are bang on. Uh, what will give it away is an acid test. Uh, it is plated on the outside of gold, so a simple uh, nitric pure nitric plus uh, with this isn't a nitric and salt solution if we put that on there you should start to see it go green there you go it does start to go green so you can get around it that way but obviously most people don't want to damage a Kruger around by sanding into them and as in acid uh, but with the quality of these fakes maybe necessary anyway hope this has been in, uh, useful information for you um, thanks for watching.